Hey, we have been an MP and three years ago, we started rebuilding this once wrecked wooden ship. We have gone through a lot from plank removing to anything you can imagine that has something to do with the boat. We are getting very close to finishing this project. We have finished painting the hull. We have finished painting the roof of this superstructure. We haven't yet painted the roof of the pilot house, which is going to be in this episode. Not only are we going to work on top of the pilot house roof, we are also going to work underneath the pilot house roof, which I think is called the ceiling. We are going to divert from some of the big main projects that we've been doing on this boat, and we're going to do something in this episode that is going to change the looks of your bar aesthetically immensely so stay tuned to find out what that big change is going to be i want to send a huge thanks to all of you who take the time to like our videos and also thank you all for subscribing to our channel that means a lot to us enjoy this video it turned out to be a super hot day and something that wasn't on our plan was adding a tiny bit of fairing compound in some little holes tiny tiny bits of fairing compound inside some tiny holes which is what we did on this roof over here because it was always going to be visible. However, that roof is not always going to be visible as we will hopefully have solar panels on it and it will be where the boom goes across. So we don't really want it to be living space. So now we're just going to go over it very quickly. They are going over it very quickly with some sanding paper just so we can get the final layer of PU paint on today because tomorrow is a streak of rainy days. So let's get all this done. Everything is sanded and cleaned and ready to be painted. All we need now is to make it completely gray to get rid of everything that we've sanded away or cover everything that we've sanded away. But that will not take any longer than five seconds. The last thing that hasn't been painted on the boat is this. You can see it's still gray, it's got its primer. It's been lightly sanded down, it's been cleaned. All I have to do now is prep the paint, put that drone up in the air. Nico's gonna be rolling the paint on while I'm gonna be tipping it. I would like a few layers on here as the solar panels are gonna be on top and we won't be able to clean it as often as we'd like. Also, it's gonna have the rainwater collection system. So at least a nice two or three layers, at least of polyurethane white, Alaska white, uh, polyurethane paint will do the job hopefully. So let's get that drone up and see how this goes. The hull, the superstructure roof, the transom, and the pilot house roof now all have primer and polyurethane Alaska white paint on, which means it's sunproof, waterproof, and so on. Now you saw we went in a kind of spiral, so we did the outsides first, and then we went over the outsides again, and again, so we had three layers on, because it kind of catalyzes quite fast. And then we went inwards, and we did another circle, and so on, until we had a tiny bit of gray left, and took turns brush it, uh, rolling and tipping the paint to make sure we've got three layers and everything. That's done. I might go over it lightly in some areas where some paintbrush hairs were left over and go over it and smoothen them out, but that is something you shouldn't worry about. Assume this is done. All we need to do now is work on the rest of the boat, like all of it. I'm 
I'm so happy we've managed to get the top of the pilot house painted. That is one step closer, one task that we can take off our list. Now that that's ready, we should move over to the next important task to get the boat launched. But we won't. We're going to work on the interior lighting of the pilot house. It does seem a bit of something we could have done later and it's not so much of a priority. However, just having light makes everything so much easier. And I've been working until so late and dark to get these projects finished, the big projects. So it's just a little, a little break from all the big work to do some aesthetic changes that look really nice. So we're gonna work on something really cool now, which is the interior lighting of the pilot house. A really cool job that Orlando and Rafa are working on is our, I'm going to call this interior lighting and exterior lighting over here. It's just all the lights that are going to be attached to the roof that are going to light up the whole uh, relaxing deck area and cockpit. Now we are only going to work on the white lights for now. Of course we are going to have red lights for during navigation. We've got lots of the boxes which were used for the lights. We're going to try and make the most of them. I think we'll try and keep the similar places as before. For example, there were loads of holes. Of course, we're going to make the most of them. We need some lighting over here, some over there. Of course, some in the walking areas, some by the entrance and so on. We're not going to fasten the boxes for good because of course the lights and the wiring starts to go in, but it's just have an idea of where everything's going to go. First one is ready with light and switch. The next step is some wiring over here. The wiring is going to be pulled. I think it's going to come up from down there, all the way up here, through a tube, into here, and then it's going to split in all different ways. But yeah, first light's in. Small, I think each light will have its on and off switch and a main switch here by the panel, just to make sure like, oh, all the lights off, flick all the lights off. But once that is on, you have to go to each individual light to turn it on. Please ignore my drawings. I think I'm the only person in the whole planet who can understand them. But this is us planning how we're gonna do all the little lights in the boxes. I know it just looks like, oh, it's just a light in a wooden box and that's it. But we have to plan which wire goes where, bringing what kind of energy for what kind of light. So we have navigation light, light just for seeing things, and then the negative. So that's why we are planning the connections and I'm the only one who can read this. I hope I just don't forget the sense this makes to me. So she's not allowed to be ill or this will never be finished. So you have to be <laughs> here every single day from now on. I'll be very happy. This moment when it works, yeah, I love it. <laughs> With a different color wire in hand, we are ready to continue installing our lights here in the pilot house. Let's do it.
We have the wooden boxes. They're original from Yaba. We just sanded and varnished them again so they look nice, but they were here already. We just got a new tube. They are red. They have a lot of personality and I really like them. Inside each wooden box, we just divide the wire with one of these. Sometimes three of them, sometimes with five because it depends on how many we have to distribute and that's how it's working. So one tube to the next box. If we need to split the wire there, we use one of those and if not, it just continues. and we can continue outside. I am loving the result we got here with the lights. I don't know if it's because the light is nice, because the box is nice, because the red tubes are cool, but I think the secret lies in the job that Nico has done on the roof, because the roof looking this shiny and smooth as he did, everything else that we put just pops up and looks great. So thank you, Nico. See you later, I'm off to the shops, finish the boat, bye guys. The hole for the lamp itself is done, now we need to make a smaller one just for the button, the on off. And we're gonna make a test with a couple of bits that we have here to see which one fits the size of the button better. And then we're gonna go for the real thing, then install into place. Have a light here and enjoy life and go sailing. That's all I can think of. rain for months and that brings a lot of mud on the river and that meant that that creep got stuck in a lot of mud so that boat is trying to go back to the water and the creep won't move so now they're coming to the rescue with that other boat trying to pull it back to the water we've never seen this maneuver being done like this before so it's quite exciting but quite crazy
Kau ada niat semua. All good? That was insane. That reminds me of a lot, a lot of when we were at the shipyard in Santos in Sao Paulo when he had a little jeep. I was thinking the same. He had a little jeep with a pulley in the water that he would accelerate with the jeep upwards and it would pull all the boats down because of course they need that momentum. And in this case, especially with all this mud, they had one massive fishing boat. I don't know if you saw how hard that boat was reversing as well. So I'm very happy they made it. Off to go and do some fishing. Beautiful! It's on camera! <laughs> what song are you singing? Tell me. Sing it loud for the camera. We're missing one red navigation light over here, but all of the white lights inside the pilot house, which means inside the door area, are placed. Orlando and MP are going to start working on the outside area. And Nico has done an amazing job applying settle uh, varnish over here. One thing that we have to do before starting to place all those tubes and boxes, of course, there's a tiny one here, is this over here. Give you five seconds to guess what it is. Give you a closer look. Five, four, where is it? Three, two, one. Anyone guess what this is for? It was here initially and we're gonna use the same one. This is the counterplate of the, oh, there's a better name for it. The halyard pulley. No, the main sheet pulley. So on top of this, it's going to be one big pulley system which is controlling the main sheet of the boom of the mainsail. And this is the counterplate. So Orlando has literally just placed it. It's not even tightened yet. You're just going to tighten these and then all the tubes are going to go on. You can see the tube goes through the middle here. And this is just to prevent or have, make sure there's less stress on these wooden planks. And it's just spread out a bit and it's also onto the beam and not just on the planks. When the wind is in the sail and there's a lot of stress on the boom. Yeah. I don't think I could be any happier with the results of the lights here in the pilot house. I love that we got to reuse the original boxes that were here on Yaba. And I also love the extra touch that we gave with this red condis. I think it looks super cool and I really, really love the overall result that we achieved here. And now, look at this. We have lights in our pilot house and they look awesome. Of course, the ultimate results we'll see when it's dark outside and we can actually see how much light we have in here, but I believe it will be enough and for now, this is what we can do. Now we are ready to continue installing these lines, but on the outside bit. We're gonna use the same kind of boxes, the same tubes, the same everything, but we need to go that way so we can have light outside as well. The ceiling is already sanded and varnished, so it's ready to receive the new lights. All we have to do is start working. So let's stop talking and let's go.
have a waterfall of wires. We just cut everything so we can shut this one and then continue doing the rest so nothing is hanging. I'm very excited that soon we're gonna have light here. I seriously cannot believe it. This is about to happen. We have light! I am so excited that we have light. Like Ben said, it's not a priority work for us to launch, but it will make our lives so much easier and so much better now that we are staying until late. So I'm so happy with this and I think it looks epic. I love the original boxes, the wooden boxes are amazing, but I'm also super happy about the red pop of color that we added here. And also, we're trying to convince you that it was the right thing to do now. Even if it isn't the right thing to do now, it's just something we were really looking forward to doing and that makes our work feel so much more fun. And it's not all have to do this, have to do this, have to do that, this. Like this visual, visually this is amazing and yeah. it makes us feel motivated to continue. We have mentioned before that sometimes to keep going with the important jobs, we need to add some fun jobs in between. This was definitely it. And I think this is so, so, so fun. I'm so happy with this. We're still missing one, you've seen, which is going to be the nav lights, which is going to be a next step. Yeah, this was just living lights. Nav lights is for later, because that's important and we didn't want to do anything important. <laughs> Skipping all the important stuff. <laughs> Our journey is only possible thanks to the people who support us. So thank you so much, Michiel, for joining us on Patreon. Also, John, for donating through PayPal. And James, Nathan, Joseph, Ice, Laurie, Ralph, Ian, Salt and Duane for leaving us a super thanks. You guys really make a difference and we really, really thank you for that. See you all next week. Bye!